when we were born again when we received christ into our lives krishna namada jeevanangalile ke swigarichappol what happened endana sambhavichathu what did you receive ningal endana praabichathu what does the bible say deiva vajana endana parayunnu tell me he that had the son had life putra ullavani jeevan undu so we have life namaku jeevan undu is that enough adu adu mathram madiyo the testimony of christ is the manifestation of life enal aa jeevante velipaadu ennal prakadanamana saakshyam it is not just receiving life adha jeevana praavikkuna oru karyam mathram alla it is not just possessing the gift of life jeevante ജീവന്റെ ആ വരത്ത് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ നാം പ്രാപിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യം മാത്രമല്ലാതെ നാം അത് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ആ ജീവന്റെ ദാനത്തെ പ്രാപിച്ചു എന്നത് ഒരു യാഥാർത്ഥ്യം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കാം നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ നാം ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ സാക്ഷ്യത്തെ കുറിച്ച് പറയുമ്പോൾ അത് നാം ജീവനെ പ്രാപിച്ചു എന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമല്ല ഇപ്പോൾ ആ ജീവൻ വെളിപ്പെടുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യം മനസ്സിലാക്കാം തങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലെ ദൈവന്റെ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ജീവനെ പുത്രന്റെ ജീവനെ സ്വായത്തമാക്കി എന്ന് പറയുന്നവരുണ്ട് അതിലെ സന്തോഷിക്കുന്നവരുമുണ്ട് തങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ സ്വീകരിച്ചു ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ജീവനെ തങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ പ്രാപിച്ചു എന്നതിൽ അവർ സന്തുഷ്ടരാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് മാത്രമായില്ല വിശ്വന്മാരെ bearing the testimony of jesus christ would mean the manifestation of that life kartava yesu christu inda saakshyate vahikkuka ennathu aa jeevan nammude velippadunna oru karyamaan in other words it speaks about an expression of that life in greater measure aa jeevan adhiga alavil nammude velippadunna oru karyamaan to put it in other words it is the outworking of the life we have received from the lord matrulathe parnal devathil nam praavicha aa jeevan nammal pravartikkunna oru karyamaanu and may god open our eyes adha kaanvan devam nammude kannugale thorakkatte we see that today majority are happy that they possess the life of Christ within ina bhoorivasha devamakkal thangalde jeevathile jeevane praabichu alanal jeevathile jeevana swayathamaakki ennadil avar sandoshamullavaraanu they are glad that they are possessing the gift of life in the in them jeevana thangalundathil avar sandushtaraanu but to bear the testimony of jesus christ would mean the manifestation the outworking of that life of christ we have received in greater measure shuddha vahikkana karyam varumbol nam praavichu aa jeevan nammal velippadandathu nammal pravartikkanadathu avashyamaan many and many have made a mistake here ivideyana anegara thetti cheyidirikkunnu may god open our eyes of understanding nammude aalmiya kannugala devam thorakkumaaraga possessing of this life is the beginning nammude jeevathile jeevane praabikkunnathu aarambham maatramaan but unfortunately possessing of this life has been made the end of their spiritual life in many anega thangalde jeevathile ഈ ജീവനെ പ്രാപിക്കുന്നത് ആരംഭമാണ് എന്നാൽ അതിനെ അവസാനമായി അവർ മാറ്റിയിരിക്കുകയാണ് എല്ലാത്തിന്റെയും അന്ത്യമല്ല മെനി ആർ സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് റെയിൽ അനേക രാമണ്ഡലത്തിൽ സന്തുഷ്ടരാണ് ഹാവിംഗ് പ്രൊസസ് ദിസ് ലൈഫ് 
Having received this as a gift from the Lord. As far as salvation is concerned, that is true. But from the time we have received this life, God's intention and desire is we may be those who would manifest this life. Remember, the Lord has given this life with an intention that it may be manifested. Not just to receive and keep it to ourselves. But rather we may be occupied with this life. To be occupied with this life. Which we have received as a gift from the Lord. That we may express it. We may manifest it. There may be an outworking of this life. That is the testimony of Jesus Christ. May God enlighten us. It's not only possession, but it is manifestation. It is an expression unto which the Lord has called his people. And that's where the remnant would arise in this hour. Amen. Amen. We realize the responsibility that is upon God's true remnant in this hour. The life has to be manifested. Not only received in our lives. And we see that the epistle of John is so much speaks about, it so much speaks about the manifestation of this life. Now, the expression of this life. Yes. He speaks so much about the manifestation, expression, outworking of this life. When we read the Gospel of John, we read so much about life. But when we read the epistle of John, we read so much about the manifestation of that life, which is a gift from God. God so loved the world, he gave his son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have eternal life. So the Gospel of John speaks so much about the gift of life, but when you read the epistle of John, he speaks about the manifestation of life. The expression of that life. Turn with me to the epistle of John again. May 
May God open our eyes. It's a very precious book. ഈ പുസ്തകം വളരെ വിലയേറിയ ഒന്നാണ് ഇതെ കാണുമ്പോൾ എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് ദൈവം നമ്മുടെ കണ്ണുകളിൽ തുറക്കുന്നത് that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled the word of life for the life was manifested and we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life which was with the father and was manifested unto us aadi mudalullathu njangal kettathu sonda kannu kondu kandathu njangal nokkiyathu njangalde kai thottathu aaye jeevante vadana sambandhichu jeevan pratheekshamayi njangal kanda saakshigarikkeyum pidavanodu koode irunna njangalukku pratheekshamayi nithi devane ningalode arikkeyum cheyunu that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with the son jesus christ jangal kandu kettumulladha ningalkku njangalodu kootaayam undayundadha ningalodu arikkunu njangalde kootaayamayo pidavanodu avante putranaya yesu christuvinodu aagunu and these things we write unto you that your joy may be full namade santosham poornavaga njangal idu ningalku eludunu verse 6 to save time samaya labhikunara aaram aaram vakkunu if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth avanode kootaayam undu enna parakeyum irittu nadakkeyum cheyal naam oshka parayunu verse 7 ikkunnadumilla verse 7 but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanseth us from all sin avan velichathil irikkunnathu pole naam velichathil nadakkunnengil nammude namukku thammil kootaayam undu avante putrana yesu christinte rakthan sagala paavavum pokki namme shuddhikarikkunnu now listen carefully sadhyara kalku when we read these verses ee vakyangale na vaaikkumbo one thought that stands out very clearly is this nam vyaktamayi kaanuna oru chinta idana the life that we have received from god from the lord nam nam praavicha aa jeevan firstly this life has to be expressed along the lines of fellowship with god devathodulla kootaayamele aa jeevan pragadamaanu listen carefully sathoda kalka this life we have received from above devathingalnu na praavicha ee jeevan it has to be expressed along the lines of fellowship with god devathodulla kootaayame velipadana it is the basis of fellowship with god devathodulla aa kootaayamade aadharam adisthanam adanu that fellowship has got to be expressed here in and through this life ee jeevanude aa kootaayama velipadanu that's the first thing adana prathamaya kaari this life we have received is to be the basis of our fellowship with god naam devathengal praavichu aa jeevan devathodulla namme kootaayamade aadharam aayi theernu our fellowship with god is to be expressed through this life ee jeevanode devathodulla namme kootaayama prakatamaagunu this life is to be expressed to god first not unto man first unto god first pradhamamaayi jeevan prakatamaagandathu devathoda if you have received this gift of life in us ee jeevan nanathu ningal praavichuvengil then it has to be expressed to god pradhamamaayi adu devathina prakatamaana devathina prakatamaana in our relationship in our 
in our in our uh, fellowship in our relationship with god that's the first thing that's what he says here in verse 7 very categorically if we walk in the light as he is in the light so this this life is first to be expressed under god that's very important this life is to be expressed to God first. It's a basis of a fellowship with God. First it is towards God. That is the ground of our fellowship with God. May God open our eyes to see this truth and may God help us to walk in this truth.